in the name of Allah, the most merciful and the most beneficent. Assalamu alaikum students, I am your computer science teacher, Hajar Ali. Students, today our topic is office automation. Here you can have a look towards the front page of your computer science book, grade 9, Federal Textbook Board, Islamabad. And our today's topic is office automation. It is on page number 65, the very start of chapter number 3. Chapter number 3, page number 65 on your books. Moving towards the basic definition of office automation. Office automation refers to collective hardware, software and processes that enable automation of the information processing and communication tasks in an organization. And what does office automation involve? It involves using computer and software to store, process and communicate most routine tasks. So if you are basically automating something, if you are automating the tasks, this is what you call office automation. And office automation is basically comprised of hardware, software and processes. Moving towards the, the software, the software that we are using to automate the things are MS Office. The commonly used office automation software is Microsoft Office. And I hope that you have heard about Microsoft Office multiple times. Microsoft Office basically have multiple components in which some of them are MS Word, MS PowerPoint, MS Excel, MS Access and MS Outlook. MS Office is basically Microsoft Office and MS Word is basically Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Access and Microsoft Outlook. Let's have a quick review about all the components. What is MS Word or what is the purpose of MS Word? Students, if you are supposed to create some document in which you have to insert text as well as pictures, at that time, which component you will be using is basically MS Word. Students, now if you are supposed to make a presentation or if you have to give some demo or presentation in front of somebody, at that time, you have to make your presentation. And the component in which you will make your presentation will be your PowerPoint. So the component that you will be using for the presentation is your MS PowerPoint. If we talk about MS Excel, Excel is used for the purpose of calculation. And if we talk about example of MS Excel, then if you are supposed to compile the result of grade 8 students, at that time, which component you will be using? You will be using Microsoft Excel. Because in Excel, uh, you will be having a multiple options to add, to multiply, to divide, to apply formulas, to apply formatting, to apply conditional formatting. So this component will be very suitable for you for the sake of calculation. Similarly, if we talk about MS Access, MS Access is basically a database where you, you can make databases of multiple objects where you can keep the record. Now if we talk about some example, in Air Foundation School System, if you are supposed to make a database of students, at that time you will be using Microsoft Access. Let's suppose I have prepared a document, I have prepared a presentation, I have some Excel sheet and I have some, I have some database file and I have to share these files with anybody, at that time I will be using Microsoft Outlook. So Outlook is basically used to communicate with, a, with somebody. In Outlook, you can receive the emails as well as you can send the emails. So Microsoft Outlook is basically an email box where you can send and receive the emails. In short, we can communicate by using Microsoft Outlook. If we talk about the introduction, Microsoft Office has been introduced by Bill Gates and he first announced Microsoft Office on 1st of August 1988. And what is the latest version of Microsoft Office? The latest version of Microsoft Office is 2016 that is released on 22nd September 2015. So once again, if we repeat, when the Microsoft Office announced, Bill Gates first announced Microsoft Office on 1st of August 1988 and the latest version of Microsoft Office is MS Office 2016 that is released on 22nd of September 2015. So this was the whole lecture of regarding office automation i have one slide above and i'm going to show you that slide again here the basics of office automation so you know, i have a slide in which it's written the basics of office automation office the basics of 
office automation are information storage data management and data exchange now i am going to ask you some questions and you have to answer this will be your homework as well students if we talk about information storage let's take an example if you are supposed to insert some text or some pictures at that time which component you will be using to store the data similarly now moving towards the second scenario if you are supposed to share some file at that time which component you will be using to exchange your data or to share your file at that time which component of office you will be using now if we talk about data management obviously office automation is basically have the three basics the basics are storage of information in data exchange and data management and if you are supposed to store some text or some picture at that time which component you will be using and if you have to share some file which component you will be using then and if we talk about data management now i am going to take a keyword over here and that is if you are supposed to make a database then which component of microsoft office you will be using so these are my different scenarios for you and you have to answer these questions as well and i will be giving you homework regarding this as well so this was all from the today's lecture office automation so student if you feel any question or any query regarding office automation or microsoft office or the components of microsoft office then you can contact me directly as well as you can consult your queries with your concerned coordinator and they will be forwarding your queries to me as well so we will see in the next lecture in next lecture we will be talking about talking about word processing so till the next lecture you should have to take care take care everybody we will see in the next lecture allah hafiz